Hey, YouTube, it's Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality, because dreams truly are a reality. I hope you're doing good, beginning of a new week. I'm more here talking about things I generally don't talk about. I try to keep it uplifting, positive, but I'm going to put a spin on it. I do want to address the Will Smith, Chris Rock situation, and I'm going to, and I'm going to title my video would you control or would you implode? Uh, I want to hear what you all thought about Will Smith going up to Chris Rock and slapping him after Chris Rock said, uh, Jada will see you in the G.I. Jane 2. G.I. Jane is an older movie. I want to say 80s, late 80s or 1990-ish featuring Demi Moore with a shaved head. Uh, Jada Pinkett has been experiencing alopecia, which is a hair loss, and your hair don't grow back. Like, it, it really is a big deal. Everybody didn't know that because people are saying they thought she just was wearing the shaved head. I had heard about it because it was in the media that she was really affected by this hair loss. Okay, so I'm going to give you a lot of scenarios. So. One, if someone does embarrass your spouse on national TV in front of millions of people, what do you do? Now, I could sit here and say, I wouldn't have went up there and slapped him. I'm basing that off Tammy Walker. I am a pretty controlled person. Um, now, I don't have probably, sorry, you are. Should have muted my phone. I don't have a lot of control or I would be more hasty if it's my nieces or nephews. I always feel like the kids, like nobody should mess with kids. I, I, I just could not contain myself. You know, I would try. If, but if somebody is doing something to my nieces or nephews, that's really tough for me. But my husband, let's say it's my husband. Um, I'm not going to hit nobody on TV for my husband. But if this is me talking. I, I'm, I'm not in the heat of the moment. I would have pulled Chris to the side afterwards and be like, yo, man, I didn't like what you said about my wife. You know, that wasn't cool. Point blank. Reason why that could have worked, he would have calmed down. It wouldn't have been on camera. And now it's a whole backlash from that. Now, that could have went 50 ways to Sunday. What if Chris had a put them dukes up and uppercut him? Now we got two brothers rolling around on the stage in the tux, in the suits. Now, I my little sister was like, I'm not taking no lick on national TV. My little sister, the most mellow lady you ever wanted me, quiet, meek, mellow. She said she wouldn't have took that lick. You are, I'm a believer. Again, I'm a controlled person. I meditate. You hit me. Tammy is from the west side of Chicago. She hits back. <laughs> I don't think I could have. I'm for real, you are. Out of reflex. I, I don't think I could have done what Chris Rock did. And man, you deserve an Oscar for containing yourself and keeping it moving. No way. I, we would have been running. Hey, I told my sister I would have been bobbing and weaving. We would have been running around that stage together rolling around on the stage or well, I would have started like if I saw him coming thinking he was gonna hit me I would have ran in the audience start hiding behind Lupita duck on over to Denzel I'm being silly now okay that's the one little part let's go to another part do you all think Jada said you better do something like you know some women some women some women they put the clamps on their man to be like you better take care of that you better do something. You're not going to embarrass me. So I don't, you know, we wasn't sitting there and they didn't have the camera like, you know, wheels going up there, camera on him. Then camera to Jada, what did she say? You know, before he went, it wasn't like that. So we can only speculate. Now, here's a little weird part I've been thinking. I'm like, is this stage somebody trying to get some more money? I don't think so. But it did look like, I've been trying to look at it a little bit. It didn't look like a, like a pimp slap because I you know I've been I tell about my history but anyway 
it didn't look like that, but it did look like some contact. But then it looked like I saw maybe Chris Rock ball his fist up out of your know, reflex. You know, somebody comes swinging on you like, but he didn't like duke up. Oh, Lord, you all. Anyway, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Now, here's the new thing. Um, okay, let's just say after all that happened, you win an award for King Richard. Now, womp, womp, womp. That's, that's fizzled out. Now they focusing on, you don't hit this man. Look, when you have a catalog like Will Smith have of movies, has, have of movies, this man is a superb actor. And I just love the pursuit of happiness. You can't tell me about that movie. And it's another one I tell my little sister, oh, I love Enemy of the state oh my god that is like my favorite movie i could watch that movie over it that is a good movie through and through and he has so many more um when you have that body of work do you want to tarnish it by a slap it's almost like jesse jackson jr and his wife i mean you go to law school you become lawyers and all this stuff high rank and then you end up in jail. Like, I always think about my work. Like, I had to spend so much time getting my degrees. Like, I don't want my stuff tarnished. As a social worker with my LSW license, before I even get it in my hand, if I do something like that, they'll never give me another license. You barred. Like, so that's the kind of stuff I think about. This is why you got to have self-control. And I'm not judging you, Will, because I love your body of work. Um, I don't... I follow celebrities within reason. I'm not uh, real obsessed with celebrities. I feel like they're just like us. I'm a social worker. I'm a poet. I play tennis. I'm consider myself an athlete. You know, I'm a therapist. I'm a counselor. I'm an author. I have a book I'm writing. I'm all these things too. What are you? You're a YouTuber. We're YouTubers. You a mother. You a father. You, you a business owner. You're an entrepreneur. Like we all are on this earth to serve and use our gifts. So I don't like get down with worshiping man, man and woman. I like their work. I like them as actors, actresses. I love singers. I'm big into music. I like celebrities with them reason. I love my sports people, but I don't put them like up like, oh, they're goddish or they're lofty. They are human beings with a whole lot of money and a whole lot of problems. More money, more problems. Celebrities, they don't have it as bad as us money-wise. They don't have to worry about, I want to buy a new car. Let me stay in the $30,000 budget. I'm going to buy a house. I got to stay under $400,000. i am taking a job. I'm going to be making $65,000. They don't have those type of problems. But they do have problems of having to keep up with their money. Some of them may have to keep up with the Joneses. Some of them may have depression. You know, just because you have $350 million, are you worth that? That doesn't solve your Mental, Kanye West, mental, not to pick on him, but it is a known fact that he suffers from mental illness. So I feel like so many things. We got to give some of these celebrities a break. They are human, just like us. They make bad judgment. However, this kind of stuff can just be smollett you. You know, people don't want to touch you no more when you do this. Now, let's go on a limb and say that's not going to happen to Will because of the talent that he has, but it is a smear. Now they talking about taking it back, his award. Mm, do y'all agree with that? I kind of don't agree with it, but if it's on their bylaws or their laws or their rules, all bets off, they can do that. I don't agree with that per se. The man won, he won. Um, maybe don't let him come for two years to the Oscars. Do y'all agree with that? Uh, another thing, something else they said. Do, do, do. Oh my God. Oh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. He did that movie, Good Hair. I watched some of it. I couldn't really watch it. I felt like he was mocking Black women in the hair. And I wasn't, that ain't cool, Chris. So I don't need to announce my race. You can see it's going to rub off. I'm Black, African American. I don't get on nothing and, and talk about my people. Matter of fact, I don't talk about people. You don't have to be no color, but I sure as hell, I do not, I don't do that. Like make a mockery of black people. I'm proud of my heritage. I love my race. I love me. I love my parents, my ancestors, my grandfather, 
my grandparents that I didn't, my great grandparents that I didn't even get to meet because they had passed away before I was born. I remember being on a farm in Alabama, being in a high bed with my great uncles and aunties eating fresh food and just having a beautiful time. I love myself and I love my people. And I love people of all colors. I have friends of all races and I talk to them often. So I'm not getting. That was wrong, Chris Rock, that movie. It was basically like making fun of weave, making fun of relaxers. And I have a relaxer, so I truly didn't find that funny at all. It was a poor taste to me. So was this joke, Chris Rock, continuing with that horrible movie, Good Hair? So now I'm, you know, see, so it's a lot, it's a lot going on here. Give me your feedback. Would you have gone up there and slapped him? Um, should they take back his award? If you were Jada, would you have said, babe, have a seat? If that was my man, I'd be like, babe, what you doing? Babe, no, honey, no. That's why he's called my guy, honey. Honey, no, honey, no. We ain't going out like that today, honey. That's just me talking. Um, Let's see what else, what else? Do you feel funny about that good hair movie? Like, oh, you like down in black women in their hair? Like this a whole... Talk about your own race type stuff. Give me feedback and let me know what you are thinking and thoughts. And I'm just interested to hear what you say. Hit that like button and hit subscribe. I don't talk about this kind of stuff all the time. It's usually light and love, but I'm just trying to make sense of it. I just thought it's such a big topic right now. Why not talk about it? Talk about the elephant in the room. And, you know, this happened. These things happen. We can't just talk about all positive stuff, all poly sunshine. We have to talk about situations that arise and how would you handle it? That's what makes us better. Seeing this, it'd be like, you know what? I'll do better if I was him, possibly. And oh, sorry, then it was some insults about Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry jumping in trying to help. No, 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 there ain't nothing to insult. If you are an older man, You've been in that field 30 years. Denzel Washington's in his 60s. Tyler and Will Smith are around the same age. They are high-ranking actors, and Tyler Perry is a billionaire. Is he a billionaire? He's a billionaire. It don't matter. Anyway, they're very successful, very polite, and very, um, what am I trying to say? Sophisticated, classy men. And as your elder, Denzel, as your elder, I'm your elder, Will. I am going to defuse this. I do that. If I'm around younger people and there's some drama, it's my job as a 50 some year old woman to defuse it. Now, anytime I know gunfight or no knuckle up, I don't break up that kind of stuff. But if it's something tense with some younger people, I'm, it's my job as an older woman, regardless of color, to defuse it. No, don't do that. No, I'm going to talk them off the ledge. So don't talk about them for trying to to bring peace. And I don't know where P. Diddy came in there. He came in trying to do something. And that's still, I guess that's okay. I just don't want to get where P. Diddy's in it. Here comes, um, let me just think, The Rock. Here comes John Legend. Everybody jumping with them. These different people, they not jumping in it. Because when you saw the memes of them, they looking like, what the fuck? And Lapita won with me. Lapita was like, well, you don't say. Lapita was, she's so beautiful on top of that. But she was looking like, it's so foolishness. Hello. <sighs> so then people were like, this is the best Grammys. It was the Oscars. Oh, God. This is the best Oscars I ever seen and all of that. There was no best Oscar. You don't want to see that. I don't want to see no race on stage slapping and bapping each other, bobbing and weaving. That is not no good Oscar. That's a shame. And it's, it's just sad. It's sad. It's a sad day. It shows you money don't solve all your problems. You all don't ever forget that. Money is not everything. And when I say that, I never want you all to think like, she want to be poor. I want, hey, I'm with you all. Bring me the money. But with that money, it comes problems. And we have to remember money doesn't solve your mental state. Money doesn't solve your husband or wife from having an affair. Money doesn't stop you from drinking that liquor. Money doesn't stop you from hitting that drug. Money doesn't stop your children from going wayward. Money doesn't make you happy. You wake up and roll around in your money and you're not, you don't have any other problem. That's not reality. You still have your problems. That's what we have to remember, not to worship this money, not to put these people high in the sky 
And just remember, we all are people with gifts just here trying to make a living. And, you know, sometimes we lose our way. And so I hope this all gets sorted out. I wish Will Smith well. I wish Chris Rock well. I wish Jada Pinkett Smith well. You know, it's, hey, I kind of, me personally, I admire, like, me and my sister, her name Sharonda. We were like, we kind of like Beyonce and Jay-Z. You don't hear them say one word. Are you ready, babe? Are you ready? Hmm. Don't people be at the beach. Don't people be on their yacht. That lady come do her performance. She is so debonair and sophisticated, baby. She don't want none of that. She got no time. She a Virgo. We don't like drama. We don't like drama. We do not. So, um, y'all got to drop me some comments on this one. I need some feedback. I'm interested to see and hear how you all would have handled it. Would you have Will Smith him? Or would you have taken the high road and said, yo, let me talk to you. What you said about my wife, that wasn't cool afterwards at the after party. Tammy C. Walker, signing off. Bye-bye.